afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's interleague baseball on the show. Jalen Beeks out of the state of Arkansas is on the hill here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Yeah, his last one was kind of a train wreck. Wasn't able to get out of the second inning in his last start and took the loss. He's going to look to go a lot deeper into this one, hopefully to take some of that stress out of that bullpen so the bullpen doesn't have to bail him out again in the second inning. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Get a good pitch. Here we go. First pitch on its way. High and deep to center field. Center fielder looking up at the track. The wall. Gone. Big dogs got to eat. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. So striding in, Jacob Travis, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the... Trying to pick things up go. where we left off. Billy. Eddie James. Right He'll field. step in trying to do Eddie. something about this 2-2 two, hey. two tie. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Nieto is there. One pitch, one out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Standing in, Brian Anderson. Now, Second base. Now the 2 1. Brian Anderson. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Digging in now, Eddie James. Right fielder, he flew out in his one. last at bat. Eddie James. First pitch on its way. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Donovan Casey, one for two in the ball game thus far. Casey. This one's flared off to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Yankees. Number 29, Socrates. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Profar onto the grass. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Give it and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Two hits for the your Kike Hernandez. Please. We'll come on to pinch hit here in a big... Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. So the Bronx Bombers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Luis Gill is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, nine runs, 14 hits.
afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Minnesota Twins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Jojo Romero, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has really good stuff. And when he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one, he threw the ball really well. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And that one is gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center. And it brings the Phillies back even now at one apiece. Well, his offense spotted him a run in the top of the inning, and he just gave it right back. That's what happens when you plant one in a hitter's. Into the box, Cal Raleigh, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 2-2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder to the track, to the wall. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. When you're facing an elite star, so runners at first and second here with one away. And digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now. Bottom of the inning now. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Eddie James. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. James aboard here at first with nobody out. And now they've got him picked off. Poor base running there. Got him caught the hot box between first and second. And he is out. Striding into the box, right Eddie Number James. 21. He singled his last Eddie. time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Oh, but the feed is offline. Couldn't hit the shortstop covering the bag. Get out, slide, slide, slide. And they oh, won't they get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Oh, this is kind of unforgivable for the second baseman. He tries to square himself to the throw the second and start the double plane. I'm not sure what happened next. Maybe his cleats got stuck, or maybe he just lost the grip, but the net result is E4 with two men on board. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jordan Alvarez goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. He's set. Here's the three and two. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Your attention, please. Inches for Minnesota. Number 32, Ray Cabot. Pulled high in the air out to right field. James is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. So they go quiet. Kike Hernandez will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like
afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Tampa Bay Rays. Interleague baseball next. Luis Castillo will be the starter for the Rays in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Big arm. This is a guy that when he learns to control the strike zone, particularly with his off-speed pitches, has a chance to improve in a short amount of time. Mid to high. Hit pretty well out to deep center field. Looking up is the center fielder. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat! So it's a solo shot to dead center, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Love to homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Standing in, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run will score from second to make this a 2 nothing ball game. Up on that ball. And he'll Great scramble job. back to first safely. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. The left fielder, Jordan Alvarez. The 2-2. Two -two. Runners on the move for second. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Slide, slide, in. slide, slide. And they'll get, get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. Bottom of the third now, and next to hit is the catcher, Ronaldo Hernandez. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. James is there to put it away for route number one. Leading off the inning, Nate Lowe. And they'll need him to get something going here. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of them. New inning set to get underway. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Eddie James. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the run is Dahl. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away. And Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. Heading out toward shallow right. Two, 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 two. James is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Your Frank Swindell will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Well this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A one run finish four to three the final tally today. The Rays jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Henderson Hurtado gets the W on the mound, so that just about does it for Mark. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the Philadelphia Phillies. Interleague baseball comes your way next. Matt Dennis gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, this guy has really good stuff. And when he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one, he... There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Well, this has started off certainly quick. First batter of the game. At the plate, Eddie James. And the Phil's trying to make this first inning even better here. Hit hard to the right side. Scooped Get up, down, slide, and it's slide. a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. So bases are empty here with two gone, that and that is. gives Nick Schufo a chance here. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. James is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Here go the tight. Digging in for his second at bat, right Eddie fielder. James. He got on top of one and was Eddie. a ground out victim last yeah. time. <laughs> right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. First pitch on its way. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch, stretch. You can't put it on the board. Yes. Solo shot to right center as the Phillies move out in front three to two. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno. Number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. So the lineup flips over and digging in Victor Reyes as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. This is in the air to right. James is there two down. Ready for another chance Eddie James as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The last at that many V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hold high in the air out to right field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And they'll creep a bit closer. The sacrifice fly makes it a 5 4 ball game now. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Ready for another shot now. Matt Thice hey, comes in three. one for two with that Matt. home run he hit earlier. Sorry. This is skied out toward right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Kike Hernandez will well, come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 8-5 today. Detroit crossed the plate three Here times now, in the eighth.